Welcome to the Broken News PBS K36 BW with your co anchors. Justin Harris. Cody Best. And Weather with Conrad Jenkins. This is your broken news. Very last episode in this basement. Pretty stoked. Kind of sad to see it go. Kind of, yeah. Goodbye, basement studio. We're moving up in the uh, world. We got a we got a ground level studio coming up. Ooh, ooh. Yes, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the seventy first episode of the Broken News. I'm Justin Harris, and I'm Cody Best, and it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, it is. And of course, we are looking to make your day a bit brighter by bringing you some important and interesting stories. Such as footage from last Saturday's annual Chicken Jamboree, held by the Thompson Falls Men's Prayer Breakfast at the PPO Power Park. And some sights and sounds from the same day of the 11th Annual Rods and Classics Car Club Show and Shine, held as always at Ainsworth Field in Thompson Falls. Not to mention a look at upcoming events slated for the sizzlingly satisfying summer of Sanders County. I had to say it again this week because Cody can't. And of course, with all that, we'll be bringing you your weather with Sanders County's very own Conrad Jenkins. And viewers, don't forget the contest on our show where you can count the number of times we say Sanders County for a gift certificate to Little Bear Ice Cream. Right on. Right on. Right on. Now let's go to last Saturday's newest event for Sanders County, the Sanders County 4-H Go Green Run, starting at the PPL Power Park winding its way over the river and through the woods and back to the Thompson Falls Market. Watch this.
That was great. It made me tired just watching it, though. Oh, you should try filming it. I mean, I came in 30th place, me and my tripod and camera. Oh, what was your time? A little over an hour and a half or so. An hour and a half? What took you so long? Well, first I had to stop and film a spider. And then I had to go over and see if the dam was still letting out the overflow, and it wasn't. So then I had to film the water going under the bridge, and then I had to go over to the other side of the bridge and film it coming out the other side. And, and well, by the time I got to the finish line, it about cleared up. I don't, I don't even think anybody was keeping time anymore. Okay. So. Well, uh, good luck next year, I guess. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll train harder, and you know, maybe it'll work out a little better, and I can run faster with a tripod and a camera. Yeah, hopefully.